in my lovely so I will just let Facebook do its thing and oh it looks like it's gonna rain super nice sad let you all hop on I'm loving how my eyes look so on an off topic if you like makeup and stuff just sort of started playing with makeup and skincare again I've got a separate group for that it's called aligned beauty I'll drop the link in the comments if you want to I was the reason I say it is because I did my eyeshadow eyeliner and mascara little demo it literally took me like three minutes just before this as you're hopping on say hello if you're watching on replay hashtag replay let me see your comments coming through i think there's always a little bit of a delay so usually when i'm going to do a live and i i did the same thing on tuesday when i did the live about belief if you haven't seen that yet i'll put the link in the comments to that as well after usually when i do a live i have a bit of a like plan of action on what i'm going to talk about so there's certain things that i follow and you're going to hear about and this week i just haven't done it at all because i've been teaching about manifesting for such a long time that i will just talk hey lucy as it comes through and what feels really aligned to mention now i find that when people come to me and they talk about if you can see the shadow behind me it's because i've got my phone as a torch because all my lights have stopped working you know like your ring light things anyway nothing will stop me coming alive i'm here let me just listen on my laptop the problems that come through when people are asking me questions about manifesting tend to be related around belief mindset or action action we are going to be dealing with at one o'clock next tuesday the 28th that is the final day for you to join me in the manifesting challenge if you haven't already done so it is a paid challenge it is 22 pounds and 22p it's a 31 day process an actionable step each day for the 31 days so that by the end of march we start first of march you'll be able to see that manifesting has become a lifestyle really like i'm sort of going back to basics with everything like in january around understanding moon phases because it's about going back to hang on i've got an itch i've got my mirror over there sorry it's about going back to basics and understanding the foundations so that you can move forward so we spoke about belief on tuesday you can watch the replay of that and like i said i'll put it in the links if you haven't seen it today i want to talk about mindset now mindset and belief are really closely tied Ugh, the weather is horrible today sorry beliefs are all about your foundation so i said on tuesday it's about imagining that you've got a house and you need really really strong foundations for the house and the floors and the walls and the ceilings and everything inside and all the weight that the house holds to withstand it all and the environmental forces and everything it needs really strong foundations your belief is like your foundation your mindset is now like about like your house yeah so it's where your beliefs are settled and they're hosted and they're sat and they're comfy and they're cozy and it's really about recognizing the environment that your beliefs and your thoughts have to sit in and that fundamentally makes up your mindset now if you think about thoughts and when i taught mastery mindset years ago this was always really interesting to refer to because we have between 20 and 50 i think it is thousand thoughts every single day now half of those will be conscious thoughts so thoughts like oh what am i gonna have for dinner oh i need to pick the kids up from school oh i need to do the hoovering oh yeah like what what should i wear on friday those kind of thoughts and then half of them are going to be sorry i always fiddle my hair half of them are going to be unconscious thoughts and those are the thoughts unconscious subconscious two words for the same thing it's the stuff that goes on in the background that stuff is still hosted within your mindset but it's the stuff that can be harder to tap into and will relate back to experiences of the past recent experiences hi lana is it alana or alana obviously i'm lana with two ends and you've got two ends curious let me know it's about recognizing all of the thoughts now you can't be aware of all of these subconscious unconscious thoughts but there are signs that universe will give you as you're going throughout your day and you think eva bless you what what were you like given how did your parents want it to be said how do you prefer it being said just talking about names it's about 
recognize that all the impacts on your relationship with the universe and in this instance to relate to manifesting because manifesting is a relationship you have with the universe you and the universe soul sisters going at it going you know what let's create this life because this is the life i would really like to lead and in doing that you're joining forces so you're not expecting the universe to do everything <laughs> bless you you're not expecting the universe isn't expecting you to do everything it's about the combination of forces and joining those together so that you create the impact so it's about you being in alignment with the universe and the universe knowing what you want sometimes when we often when we are expressing what we want it can be a bit haywire not very clear there can be some confusion around it like i was saying on tuesday if you say i want a new job by the end of 2023 but you don't specify that you want a new job in this kind of industry providing you with this kind of salary with these kind of tasks then you might get loads of job offers but not even recognize them as job offers because they're not on your radar but that's because you weren't necessarily specific enough with yourself and then being specific enough with yourself is being specific enough with the universe you don't have to do too much to communicate with the universe the universe and you are very deeply connected and your thoughts and your beliefs are what express so much of what then happens in your life that's why it can be hard to manifest because it's on a real deep rooted level that you're communicating so you don't have to actively you know like if you don't like someone but you're being polite because they're related to you or they're with someone you're related to and you just kind of have to like toe the line and get on with them because it caused more problems if you didn't they don't know that person doesn't know what your thoughts are and what you say to them might be very nice and polite so they have no reason to think you don't like them but the energy you give out may most likely be now you're not that keen and that is the level that you're communicating with the universe that it doesn't matter what you say if you say yeah i really believe in myself the universe knows really what's going on and if fundamentally deep down you don't really believe in yourself the universe knows that that is what is true about you and that your energy that you're giving out is that you don't really believe in yourself and that's not to blame or shame yourself that's to recognize so you can start working on that self-belief and we're going to be doing this in the manifesting challenge so that you build that up so that when you go i really want to get that promotion in my job because i know that i can do it the words match the feelings the feelings match the beliefs the beliefs match the energy and all of that then is expressed to the universe so the universe goes oh, of course and opens the doors for you you still take the actions and we're going to talk about actions next week because one thing i see time and time again when people teach about manifesting especially like when it first came out it was this misunderstanding that you just think about something and you believe it and then it will happen the beliefs usually weren't that strong but then it's taking away completely your actions and your responsibilities in that process thinking about it is not enough believing in it is not enough you still have to take the actions too but like i say we'll deal with that on tuesday what i want you to think about today is the host that you have for your thoughts and your beliefs your beliefs are the core deep rooted there's lots and lots of thoughts there's lots of experiences that then bleed, bleed and create these beliefs all of this happens in your mindset your mindset is kind of like your daily narrative so what are the thoughts that run through your mind on a day-to-day -day? are they like i've totally got this i can do this i can do anything i put my mind to maybe or are they more like mm, but can i do these things really happen to me though because look at all these examples that i can pull from my memory bank of all these things and that i've wanted these things that i've worked towards and they've just not worked da, 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 and you'll be able to list a load off and it doesn't mean those things aren't true it just means that you don't have to carry the burden and the weight of those things not happening into the future and determine your future to be the same as your past because every given second you have an opportunity to change things so when you recognize what's going on in your mindset and how you look at other things and we touched on gossip on tuesday so if you really enjoy the real bitchy gossip about other people chances are your mindset is not really an environment that's going to be encouraging you to manifest quite easily 
because it's going to be quite negative it's going to be focused on making yourself feel better by other people being feeling bad that's fundamentally what goes on with gossip and i know we can all gossip right and you gossip to different extents you might go out and be like oh my god look over there but if gossip is your foundation of your life then it's telling you about what your mindset is like if you really enjoy a bit of gossip it's also telling you about your mindset and your life and what you're enjoying and what's serving you and what isn't now the good way and i always say this with food but you can do this with anything a really good way to understand how anything has an impact on you whether it is a thought a person a food type a drink a something you do a vice you have say ask yourself 20 minutes half an hour after you've had that thought taken that action had that cigarette had that drink had that burger whatever and i'm not shaming any of those things i'm just saying ask yourself how do i feel do you feel excited to be alive motivated empowered ready to go or do you feel a bit like mm, a bit lethargic a bit down a bit like can't be asked a bit negative this is really really evident when you apply it to people because we have so many different influences on our mindset so not only is it our own thoughts and beliefs that come back from way back when just look to the time it's 13 13 there you go angel numbers are following us but it's also the people we're around they you know there's that old saying look at your five closest friends and you can tell something about you are the people that you are around supporting and encouraging you to be the best version of yourself or are they bringing you down because you heard of the crabs in the bucket thing so if you imagine there's crabs in the bucket a crab will climb up to the side to try and get out the other crabs will pull it down do you have a lot of crabs around you i mean you could take that in different ways but i mean it literally in the crabs in the bucket are people trying to pull you down to their level because they don't want you to succeed and then if they are it's for you to then explore and go okay how many of these people do i need and want in my life because are they supporting me in my long-term goals which are to be do feel experience enjoy da 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 and sometimes it can be really yes you agree it can be really hard to let go of people and it can be people that are really close to you it can be family it can be long-term friends it could be new friends that you're just really tight with it could be work colleagues it could be partners anyone and it's for you to sit and go okay like i know that after i've spoken to my best friend maybe i feel a bit lethargic and a bit down and actually feel quite negative about life and just drained if you feel drained after anything that's a clear indicator and this might take a bit of practice if you're not so connected to your signs if you're not hearing and feeling the differences in yourself so part of that process then would just be to get to understand yourself better so that you can see and hear and feel those differences but feeling drained or tired is one of the real clear like scream at you signs that are going something's not quite right like say you eat something and you feel really really drained and tired probably you've got an intolerance to it to some degree because it's not or it's just something very sugary say that's going to quickly drop your energy levels but it's something that's not going to sustain you in life getting up drains you becky i mean you are going through quite a lot and that's not surprising you're a newborn right you're like what 102 days old so newborns sleep a lot there you go answer <laughs> you can talk to becky about her experiences and why i say that but it's about knowing these things the things that have an impact on you they will be people they will be food they will be drink i mean any kind of drink you know tea oh, 104 i was two days out it will be tea coffee things like that like i know i can have a couple of cups of tea a day and then all right that's my max then some days i can't tolerate coffee at all because it just gives me headaches it's about understanding yourself because all of this feeds back into your mindset if you are bringing stuff into your body your life your environment your home your home is your sacred space it is your personal space for you to replenish rejuvenate realign if in that space there are beings people stuff you know environmental things that are pulling 
down your energy, draining your resources, making you feel really tired, really lacking in motivation. Then it's about assessing those and figuring out how you can lessen the impact of these things on you and how you can enhance the things that make you feel good. So it's also then exploring what makes you feel good, what makes you feel motivated, what makes you feel like you can get up, what makes you feel really good and have good thoughts. Maybe it's a person that you speak to, maybe it's a person that you listen to, maybe it's something like this live that's going to leave you feeling like, yeah, you know what, I can, I can go and manifest, I can have a healthy mindset that's going to support me on my journey in life for the things that I want. It's about surrounding yourself with things like that, so that then when you go, right, I want that promotion, I want that house move, I want that new relationship, I want that mega holiday, that you can take the steps in alignment with yourself and your environment, your mindset and your beliefs and your actions all supporting you to manifest whatever it is that you want. It is possible. People manifest the most amazing things. Becky, you are a manifestation in your own right. It's about believing in it and having the environment to support it and your mind is so key your mind takes up like 90 percent of the process of your own part and responsibility of manifesting because remember it's a relationship between you and the universe your mindset that includes your thoughts and your beliefs take up 90 percent. your actions are like 10 percent. because really if you can get your mind on board and your feelings on board and your beliefs on board to all support you in this process then you are nearly there you are nearly at that end goal and it's about recognizing that when you start to recognize that oh yeah shit this is true then you are already halfway there to nearly being there because then you're going all right i know that i need to be really aware of the thoughts that i'm having and you can just start realigning yourself if you know you love a gossip you can just start limiting it so that it becomes less of a habit if you know that you start to negatively think about yourself and your abilities and your potential, you can start to time it. So you can say to yourself, you know what? I'm going to give myself half an hour a day to feel shitty about myself and focus on all the things that are going wrong. But that is the only time I'm giving it every day. So you're acknowledging it. You're feeding it. You're giving it its time to listen. Because I do believe that if you try to just ignore things, they just get louder and louder and louder and they won't be ignored. So you give it its time and you will find over a period of time that the time it needs is less. Because you will spend more of your day focusing on feeling good, being grateful for what you have, recognising all that's around you, seeing your capabilities, finding people and places and things, food and drink, evidently are a big part of this conversation. See, I didn't intend them to be, but there you go. That support you in this journey of feeling good, of focusing yourself so that you can manifest. Manifesting isn't just there for the the elite few that somehow manifest like six-figure salaries out of their farts. Like, it can seem like that, let's be real. Depending on what circles you run in, especially online, it could be a lot of that. Like, oh, well, I just woke up and I just made a million. And you know there's more to it than that. There's a lot of internal work going on. There's a lot of belief work going on. There's a lot of action going on too. You're not just going to magic it up. All right, you might win the lottery. But not everyone's going to win the lottery every day. And plus, lottery for everyone will be diff something different. It's about bringing yourself together, taking ownership too. You know, mindset can be, oh, well, that's how I was brought up. Oh, well, that's what everyone around me thinks. You know, and kind of not taking ownership of needing to be responsible for that as well. But when you go, no, this is my life. I'm going to decide what it's like. I'm going to decide how I'm going to create it, the lifestyle I lead, the things that are coming in my future, I'm going to create them, then you know it starts with your thoughts and your mindset that feed your beliefs. So your beliefs can be there from a really long time ago. A lot of them will be based from childhood and you can work on them if they're beliefs that don't support you. Your thoughts that you have every single day, your 20 to 50,000 thoughts that run through your head every day, you can choose to be more, more consciously aware of them and then when negative thoughts come in, choose to stop them rather than feed them. There's a difference, you know, we all know that cycle, right? That downward cycle of like, you get that thought, oh, I bet it's not going to happen. And then, da 
all these other thoughts come in to support that we can go all right i recognize that i'm scared that it might not happen because i really want it to but i'm going to choose to focus that it will and i'm going to do x y and z to help it along on the process so there's some food for thought for your mindset Join me on Tuesday at one o'clock where I'm going to be talking about action because there are actions that are needed to be taken when it comes to manifesting. It isn't all in here. A lot of it's in here, granted. But you do still need to be taking the actions as well. If you want to join me in the manifesting challenge, then please, by all means, do. It is £22 or 22p. Like I say, it's a 31-day process from the 1st to the 31st of March. An actionable step each day to make it really simple, really easy for you to do very quickly but by the end of those 31 days it's going to be a new lifestyle habit if you want to ask me questions about it do so i will pop the link in the comments for you to go and have a look hope you have an amazing day ladies thank you for joining me those of you that watch me on replay thank you for watching on replay ask any questions you have in the comments i'll come back and answer those and i will see you all on tuesday